In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the map reference number on our 1 in 50,000 topographic series. So if I zoom into that, it's found at the top center of the map. And we see that in this case, the map reference number is 2829 AC, and the name of the map is Harry Smith. The 28 refers to latitude, the 29 refers to longitude, and the AC we will explain a bit later. Now you may ask, why doesn't it say 28 degrees north or south, or 29 degrees east or west? Well, that's because the whole of South Africa lies in the southern hemisphere. So if we're working with a South African map, we understand, therefore, that this is 28 degrees south. And likewise, the whole of southern Africa is east of Greenwich, so we understand that that refers to 29 degrees east. So that's a one degree rectangle that it refers to. And the map, in fact, is quite a lot smaller than one degree. Um, than one degree square. In fact, it is a sixteenth of a square degree. And the AC tells us where within that one degree rectangle it lies. So we will now have a look at um, the system that allows us to define that map number. Right, so looking at the map reference number then, we have 28 degrees south, 29 degrees east, and then the AC we will talk about a bit later on. Right, what does this mean? 28 is a line of latitude, 28 degrees south, 29 is a line of longitude, 29 degrees east. And we don't have to mention the south and the east in the number because the whole of South Africa is south and east. Then the southern edge over here is defined by 29 degrees south latitude, of course, getting larger away from the equator, and the eastern edge over here defined by 30 degrees east, getting larger away from Greenwich. Now this is not the area of our map. The AC defines the area of our map within this one degree rectangle. So the 28, 29 refers to that point there and it then defines that rectangle. The A is defined by dividing it in four, in other words, half degree squares. So this over here is 28 degrees 30 minutes, there being 60 minutes in a degree, so 30 is half. And over here, this is 29 degrees 30 minutes east. And this, of course, is south. Right, so we call that A, B, C, D. And that is that A there. Then we divide it further in another four. So that we, in fact, have 16 squares, rectangles. And each of these we label A, B, C, D. So this is A, 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 B, A, C, and A, D. So there is our A, C over there. So our map that we're looking at, our Harry Smith map, is 28, 29, A, C. This one over here, for instance, would be... 28, 29, BC, this one CC, this one DC, this one DB. So we can just fill in all of those quickly and you can see that that system is very straightforward. It gets a little bit more complicated when in an exam they might ask you, for instance, which is this one over here? So we would then have to extend our diagram in this direction. So there is a degree square. If that's 29, this would be 28. This one stays at 28, so this would now be 28 east, 28 south. And over here we would have A, B, A, B. So this one here 
would be 28, 28. B, B. This one down here. Again, we can extend the diagram in the other direction by another whole degree, 30, 31 degrees east. We are still 28 degrees south. So this is the point we're interested in. It's always the northwest corner of the map that defines the rectangle. So 28, 31 is this, sorry, 28, 30 is this point. And so if we're interested in this one down here, it's going to be A, B, C, D over there, and then A, B, C, D. So this one here is 28, always latitude first, 30, C, C. Okay, so you need to practice that a bit. And then um, if we wanted to go down here, the same kind of thinking. Now it would be 29. So this point would be 29 defined by that latitude. 29 over there. And so this one would be 29, 20, well if you put it in that corner, 29, 29, A, A, and so on and so forth. So you just have to keep your wits about you, making sure that you always are defining the point in the northwest corner of your big... Right, let's have a look at the diagram at the bottom of the page, which lays out the surrounding map reference numbers. There is our 28 degrees south, there is our 29 degrees east. So that of the south, of course, is referring to this line, the east to this one. So this is the point that we're interested in for our rectangle, which contains our map. So there is the A rectangle, B would be over here somewhere, C would be there, and D would be over there. So we can see the A repeated there. And then AA over there, AB over there, and so on, the C and the D. Likewise, that C refers to there, and this would be AB, so the B would refer to there. And so we can work out the map reference number for any of the other surrounding maps. So if this is the big A, then this must be another big B over here. And so there's our B. And then this would be a B from the second little B. This would be C, D from the D over there. Likewise here, this is going to be A, B, C. This is going to be D, which of course refers to that. And this would be A, B referring to that. If we want to use this information in a useful way, for instance, if we want to know, because we're studying a road that runs across these maps, and we want to know which maps we need to order from the government printer, then we can see that for, to study that road, we would order the maps with these numbers. And that way, we would be able to get the whole route of the road in. Okay, that concludes the lesson on map reference numbers.